like this and I thought we would try this out so stay tuned okay guys so I'm gonna show you the nutrition facts on the back and you guys can freeze it and read it if you like it's gluten-free it's uh, vegetarian and kosher so I thought this would might be a cool thing it's got chuck peas simmered in an aromic tomato gravy so now, I like chuck peas. Now, not everybody does, but I do. And I thought maybe I'd like this. So, I'm, all you have to do, you can do it on the stove or you can do it in the microwave. Now, I'm going to do it in the microwave because, you know, I'm going to eat this for lunch. And if you have to work or something and you want to take it to work, you can. So, let me put it in the microwave. you got to do it for, it says, tear this off. You're going to tear this off. Um, part way, not all the way, to, to vent, and, um, you'll put it on the microwave, let's see, how many minutes, heat, for a minute, for how many minutes, what, this is for a minute, so I guess you gotta do it for a minute, and that's it, so, I'll be back after I get in the microwave, and, and, uh, we can test it out, I'll be back. Okay guys, so the minute is up, and I'll tell you what, this smells amazing. Oh, you can smell the curry and, and that. It smells really, really good. So I'm going to put it out in a bowl so you guys can see it. You could probably eat it right out of the patch if you were at work or something and wanted to. This is probably going to be a little soupy. I don't know. And there we go. So I'm going to show you. There, hopefully you can see there. There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we will test it out. I'm going to bring it down so you can kind of see it a little bit better. There we go. Oops, too close. There we go. There. So, anyways, that's what it looks like. And I like chuck peas. They're good for you. They're healthy. I'm always looking for something healthy with diabetes. You have to. And I thought, oh, this might be a nice little quick meal, you know, on a hot, I mean, a cold day. And, you know, you could eat this. So I'm going to try it and see what it tastes like. Hmm. That's good. Really good. Mmm. I like that. And, I mean, it tastes like chuck peas. It's got a little, um, spicy. It's a little spicy, but that's alright. I like spicy, but if you don't, you, you know, it's not real spicy spicy, but it's a little bit, so. I was trying to see. Yeah, okay, the ingredients is water. Chuck peas, onions, potatoes, tomatoes, sunflower, um, oil, spices like ginger. I could smell the ginger. Salt, garlic, um, powdered green chilies, dry something leaves, dried mango powder, and tea leaves extract. May contain milk and tree nuts. <coughs> so if you're allergic to milk, you can't eat this, I, I wouldn't think. But, um, yeah, it's really good. Mm. Not bad. And it's, it's for one serving. And you could really put this on some rice if you wanted to. You know, make a meal out of it. Or you can just eat it the way it is. Not bad. I can't remember how much I paid for. I think it was like two or three something. Yeah, they, I think it was like three something, three forty nine somewhere in there. I'll just see if I can look it up and I'll put it in in my video for you. 
so you know. And I found it over there where all the oriental stuff is, where you can get your um, noodles for, for your walks and stuff like that at Winn-Dixie, so you can probably get it anywhere. Probably get it at Walmart or something like that, too. So, anyways, not bad. And it's healthy. Not too bad. I mean, the calories are high. It's for per serving, it's 200 calories. That's for half a cup. So, if you eat the whole thing, it's 460 calories. So, But, I mean, if it's for lunch and that's all you're going to eat, you'll be fine. You know? So, it's very good. I like it very much. So, anyways, that's it for now. I'm going to eat this. My mother's got a couple therapy and a nurse coming today, so I wanted to get this video up before they all show up. And there's not much else going on. i got a couple of videos in mind, so stay tuned. They will be coming up soon. Um, hmm, I don't know what we're doing over the weekend. Do you, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a weekend of activities planned. Yeah, do you? Hmm. I heard it was supposed to rain most of the weekend, so we don't know. We'll see what we'll be up to. Maybe fish. Maybe. I thought about that. Go fishing. Maybe we were thinking about taking our boat out to our lake and night fish one night. So maybe we'll do that. We'll see. It depends on the rain. The last, the last time, as you've seen on the video of Shea Bears, that was quite a storm. It was horrible. So... Anyways, if you haven't seen it, go check out Shea Bear 1000, and you'll see that video on there. It was a really bad storm for just rain. Oh, if we was on the water. Oh, gosh. Happened, I would have had to have the pump running and be on. And... Yeah, yeah, because it was bad. It was really bad. I've seen that one a few times in Daytona like that. But when it, we would lived over there, it would be up to almost the car doors. And then in an hour or so, it would be all gone. All gone. Because it just came down so fast that the drains can't keep up. So, yeah. So, but that was, I haven't seen that in a long time like that. And I heard some parts got hail. All right. So, through that storm. I'm glad we didn't. Me too. Me too. So, anyways, that's it for now, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.